Hey there, in this video I wanted to show you um, some of the AI generation that you can do right within Canva in case you haven't discovered this yet. All right. So when you go to your Canva homepage on the left, you should see a button or a link that says Magic Studio. Okay. And in here there is all kinds of uh, different AI options you have. You have your Magic Design, uh, Magic Design for Video, Magic Write, where you can get AI to help write for you, um, Magic Switch, your Magic Animate, Magic Morph. There's just all kinds of stuff. But today we're going to focus on a text to image generation. All right. So I went and started a new design, a blank design, uh, 2500 by 2500 pixels, but you can do whatever you want. And then on the left, in our little menu over here, we're going to scroll down and I'm going to click on apps and we're going to search for magic media. All right. And right there it is. Just click on that. Now you get, I believe it's 500 credits per month with your Canva Pro subscription. All right. So you get a lot of uh, AI generation uh, with your pro account all right so i'm just gonna copy a real quick and simple prompt i have there all right it is a realistic seashell hand painted watercolor pastel natural colors children simple minimalist isolated on a white background okay and you can choose your style but i already put my style in my prompt so I'm not going to select any of the styles I'm just going to click select it generate image and we're going to see how well canvas AI does at generating okay now this looks like it gave me a seamless pattern which is not at all what I asked for and yet it looks kind of cool doesn't it let's see what we've got here does look like a pattern. I'm not going to swear that it's seamless yet. Let's find out. Duplicate that. It is not quite seamless. It's pretty close. But it gave me a pattern and that's not what we wanted. I'm not real sure. So let's click on the watercolor style and see what happens. All right. Now I will say Canvas AI has come a long way from what it was initially all right it still needs some work but it's getting better all the time and for the price of your canva pro account you know the credits you get every month are are well well worth it all right so this is a kind of a cute watercolor seashell there all right um, let's make another page and we can click you see if you get one that you kind of like there's three little dots here generate more like this and it'll generate a few more for us. Okay, and here's another one that looks kind of nice. Definitely a watercolor seashell. All right, let me grab a different prompt. This one we want, this one says, let's look here. Cute Highland cow sitting facing forward, holding a sunflower, cartoon vector, coloring page, thick lines, isolated white background. All right, so in this one, we want him to be more of a cartoon. Let's see if there's any styles in here that would go with what we're looking for. Anime, 3D. I think we're just gonna let it the way it is with no style selected and see what happens, all right? Let's add a new page here. Okay. So that's a cute drawing not exactly what I had in mind but yet it's not bad let's see what that exact same prompt gives us in something like uh, mid journey all right and you see I was playing with Highland cows in mid journey not using that exact prompt but let's see what we get while we're waiting for that let's go over here and generate this again see what else we come up with for us okay now you see this is what we got from mid journey much different style um, 
but these aren't bad. I mean, they're really not bad. They're really cute. I, I asked for um, coloring book style. So let's, you know what, let's eliminate coloring page and see what we get. Generate again. And the fact that you get so many credits every month makes it easy to try again. You know, you don't have to worry so much about this is really cute. It, like I said, it's a completely different style than what Mid Journey is giving us, but it's still super cute. All right, so we're going to keep that one. And now I am going to run and get a, another prompt I had ready to go. This is for a black and white uh, vector outline. I didn't even put the subject in here yet. What do we want to see? How about a... Hmm about a hedgehog in the grass I don't know I'm just you know it's early I was up half the night so I'm not thinking this morning we're getting a hedgehog in the grass something real simple oh this is kind of cute it's definitely a hedgehog definitely I'm not real fond of the black I like the green grass, but you know what? We are in Canva, so if there is something you don't like, it is easy enough to get rid of it. Let's do that. Let's edit the image and get rid of No, let's go with the brush. Alright, let's just get rid of all this. And if you like it, you can leave it. You know, if there whatever you generate, it's you know this is all personal preference now that I'm getting rid of the black. Let's erase that. go over a couple spots a second time but there we go now we have our cute um, hedgehog in the grass we have our highland cow holding the sunflower there's another one of the highland cow and our seashell you know overall I think uh, canvas magic media does a decent job of generating um, images you know I rarely rarely use this because I typically use mid journey um, recraft and Kittle to generate uh, images so I, I rarely rarely bother with uh, the magic media in here so I don't have my prompts down to a science you know which ones work best in here so you can absolutely tinker with it and you know learn what works best and what doesn't but I just wanted to put, show it to you in case you hadn't found it yet and didn't realize that you could actually do this inside of Canva um, I think it's great that you get you know over 400 I think it's close to 500 credits per month with your pro membership um, and what do we pay for our pro membership $12.99 $14.99 you know I can't even remember anymore it's been so long since I got my pro subscription I, I don't even pay attention so um, you can absolutely though it, it's so worth it just for that um, so anyway I'll leave a link below for you if you don't already have um, your canva membership there's a I can give you a link for a 30-day free trial so you can come in here and play with the magic media and you know see what happens what you like let's do a couple more since we're in here and we're going to use uh, some of the basic here let's do keep seeing these pictures of the rubber ducky rubber ducky floating in a magical bathtub all right and we're going to do dreamy and click generate image and perhaps uh, magic media works best with basic 
prompts. And as of right now, I think that might be the case. Simple prompts and just pick a style and go from there. That is really cute. All right, let's do this again. Let's uh, clear this. You know what? Let's, uh, let's look at the styles. Let's go with... Uh, watercolor and what do we want mm. how about a sea turtle swimming something real simple let's see what we get we picked watercolor style and sea turtle swimming so you know I am playing with this just like you are like I said, I rarely use this feature, but I know it's here. That's kind of cute. It's definitely like a primitive type, you know, painting. That is nice, though. I'll tell you what, let's try that sea turtle swimming in the dreamy style. What are we going to get now? But it is super fun to come in here and play around and see what you can get. Oh, this is nice. This, this, this I like. This I definitely like. You could take this image. Oh, this image here all by itself could easily be turned into a Tumblr wrap. You put some text on here if you wanted to. That generated a very nice image there. Very nice. All right, let's try instead of sea turtle swimming, let's do dolphin jumping from water and we are going to select a dreamy let's make another page so so far I'm thinking that uh, this magic media works best when you give it just a very basic prompt and let it do its thing all right let's check out these four images well that one's kind of cool. Kind of looks like a pregnant dolphin there. This one has multiple dorsal fins, so that's not what we want. What about this one? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I like that one. Except the dolphin has three lower fins. And this one... You know, I think we need to generate this one again. Everybody on this, all four of these seem to have some wonky to them. Two dorsal fins up here, and then the tail fin looks like it has three pieces coming out. Not what we want at all. Uh-huh. How about this one? This one looks good. This one looks pretty good. And again, you know, this looks... You could make a tumbler wrap out of this, um, absolutely. Let's see what else we got here. How about Island Cow sitting with a sunflower. Let's see what we get this time. Let's select that dreamy. Actually, let's say cute Island Cow sitting with a sunflower in dreamy mode. Well, that's cute. Oh, the, yeah. Yeah, that's really cute. Look at that. Just sitting there, like, with sunflowers around him. That's that's kind of cute. I'm not a fan of how, like, I don't know, blended the uh, front feet are, but that's all right. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, this one's really cute, too. This one has almost like a rainbow effect in the background. I really like this one. You could absolutely turn this into a mug wrap, a tumbler wrap, whatever you wanted. But, you know, now I could sit here and we could play with magic media all day long, honestly. I would never get tired of it. But, you know, in the interest of keeping you, you know, I don't want to keep you all day and bore you with this. So I'm just going to, you know, scroll back through here. We'll look at a couple of the ones we've done. And you can see the possibilities here. You know, there's so much you can do, so many different ways you can use it. And, you know, it's, it's a fairly new technology here inside Canva. So, you know, it's, it, there, there's still some hiccups, but, um, 
you know, you have plenty of credits every month to play with and, you know, uh, optimize your prompts and get the best images you can with it. And I just figured if you're paying for Canva Pro already, you definitely want to know about this magic media because you're getting credits for your AI art generation that you may not have been using. So um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. And I will see you next time.